cool coping and paver upgrade without removing a concrete deck. I have an 1836 in-ground pool in Massachusetts that was installed in the 80s. Over the decades, the deck has not moved, but it does have a few small cracks, nothing substantial. The concrete coping is in worse shape, cracking, but still robust. I currently have the traditional bullnose cope, aluminum coping with vinyl track. The liner needs to be replaced in the spring, and I would like to lay porcelain pavers on top of the concrete deck with a sand base without removing the deck. I'm thinking of pulling out the coping and replacing the liner track with a cantilever track and then using coping pavers around the pool. The issue I have is the height difference between the coping and the pavers. I see there are numerous remodeling coping pavers available, but can I mortar them to the aluminum track or can I replace the track with a cantilever track to boost up and boost up their remodeling pavers with a couple of inches of mortar? Any guidance here? I would hate to have to remove 2,000 square feet of concrete to replace it with another, another concrete base an inch or two lower. So there's a lot going on in that conversation that I'm not entirely sure how to answer. Is this aluminum coping that's for the pool, is this top mount aluminum coping or is it poured into the concrete deck? Because if it's poured into the concrete deck, you certainly have to cut all the way around the pool to be able to break that out and then take that uh, take that coping it off. It currently has traditional bullnose aluminum. Okay, so that that's one of two things. The bullnose top mount that's six inches wide that bolts to, that screws to the top of the wall, or traditional bullnose coping that gets poured into the concrete. Depending on which one of those would be how I would answer this question. If it's the most traditional bullnose, which is poured into the patio, you have to cut a section of the patio all the way around the pool to take that out. Here's the challenge with that. If you cut this far back to be able to remove that, you also run the risk of this thing not having deck supports underneath it to support the patio. Your concrete patio sits on the wall of your pool currently, and in a lot of cases, people didn't use what's called a deck support, which is steel underneath the pool, uh, underneath the patio attached to the pool that helps hold the patio up. My fear is if you cut all the way around to take that coping out, you run the risk of the ground having settled around it, you run the risk of the patio dropping. So I would do a little more investigating to figure out exactly what's going on underneath the pool before you start taking some stuff out. After that, you could go ahead and set your pavers and then at whatever the final elevation that is, as it gets close to the pool, either find or pour in place or something, the proper height coping all the way around. And if it means using a cantilevered form or something of elevation, that would certainly help. And then you just have to fill that void in with concrete underneath and then mud those stones in. But I would first make sure that you don't have any issues going on under and around the back of the, the back side of the wall of the pool before you just go and cut it out and pull that stuff out of there. Or have a contingency plan that if you do cut it out, you have a plan for it. Because when a pool is built, uh, a, a vinyl liner pool is built and that concrete patio is poured, part of that patio, the patio is supported by the wall of the pool and the dirt behind the wall always settles unless it was filled with stone or something that wouldn't settle every single deck that i've ever broken through to repair pipes uh the deck is usually floating this far to this far above the dirt that settled down and if you cut that whole front end you, you run the risk of it falling so just be aware of that when you do it 